Hey guys, what's up, my sir, and welcome to Assassin's Creed 3. And no Assassin's Creed Unity yet. I'm sorry, but there's gonna be sorry. Maybe Christmas or New Year. I don't know. But Assassin's Creed 3, second favorite game of the Assassin's Creed. Let's do this, shall we? Ah, uh, don't mind that. <laughs> I was trying to record this, but uh, rain, rain, and stuff. Kind of laggy. I don't want to delete it right now. I'll delete it. I'll delete it later. Let's change the name to Maxis. Confirm. Used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up, or laughed them off. Sometimes both, but we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning, with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call Pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years, even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching. Bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know that ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be when it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. All right, Assassin's Creed 3, let's do this. I was eating Oreos. That's my dad's hands. <laughs> Let's play this shit. Oh, you're also doing work now. Forgot about that. First custody or second? Still a bit frame weighty or. <laughs> I don't know if that should be called. We're here. Okay, he's getting back up.
Alright. I think we can run at this point. Easy controller. Alright, that's Desmond, his father. Let's go. Some guy and some girl. I just walk. I can just walk here. Walking by using this. Where did I come from? I always ask that. I always ask that to myself. Where did I come from? Too big for it to be in this pocket. In another moment, down went Alice after it. Never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. Did it just became not that laggy? Wow. Can we can, can we run at this point? No, we can't. Yep, we can now run at this point. Yep, too much cutscenes. First part, I don't hate that. I really hate that. I think we're here. At least we're mine. Let's run. Our glow stick is gone. We can't wave to a rave party. Oh. Oh no. What the hell just happened? Oh no. What happened? I hope that did not did anything. And I think my welcome is gone. Just think. I'll get it back as soon as possible. Alright, get it back. Alright, go back. I think my welcome is gone back up. I think. Can't see it right now, but I won't fix that problem right now. I'll do this. Sorry if you can hear like clicking noises. Stop looking at it, just get it. There you go. Jeez. Key. You must find the key. Son? 
the <sighs> Here we go again Desmond Do you hear us? <sighs> yeah what happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. There's no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's talking to me. All right. Let me just switch my chair. Okay, Desmond. While you were, uh... Visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. All right. Okay, wait. Uh, let me pause this for a while. Uh, let me just get this. Fine, fine. Check, 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 check. 